Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater, and today I'm joined by Tor Mokensen from TC Denmark, and you are here to show us a new Bonafide buffer pedal. Exactly. So the Ditto X4 Looper is not the only new pedal that's coming from TC this year. You've also got the Bonafide buffer. And tell us about this pedal. Yeah, I mean, a buffer is this thing that I, you know, I think a lot of people don't really understand what it does. It's kind of a weird thing because it, it really, it's not an effect as such. It's basically just a way to, you know, keep your, your core signal intact and sounding nice. Right. And um, I think a lot of guitar players are used to talking about true bypass pedals as, you know, the way to go. Mm -hmm. But at least to me and the philosophy we have at TC is that, you know, true bypass is great, but when you have that, it's great to have at least one buffer in the signal somehow. And let me see if I can try to explain that. So basically, the more cables you add, the longer cables and the more pedals you add, basically if you have all true bypass pedals, because of the, you know, the high impedance signal of a guitar, what really happens is the same thing that happens when you roll off the tone knob on your guitar, you get a dollar more dark sound and also you lose a little bit of, of volume. Mm -hmm. um, and if you have all true bypass pedals, that'll happen because a guitar signal is by nature very, um, it's not a very powerful one. Right. So what a buffer does is basically compensate for that by turning the high impedance signal into a low impedance signal and that's much more robust. So basically you can run as long cable length as you want to without any kind of signal degradation. Right. So a buffer the best buffer is really something you don't hear unless you turn it off and then you can hear what it, you know, what how it would sound if it didn't, if right. you didn't have it in there. So the goal is, I think for guitar players in general, is always what, what you, the sound you really want is if you take a really short cable and you take your guitar and you plug it straight into your amp, mm -hmm. that's, you know, that's the sound. And I think a lot of guitar players, you know, we try to, you know, we heard that sound and we think it sounds great. It's, you know, just the true sound of the guitar and the amp. And then you run through your pedal board and you go like, oh, what happened? It doesn't sound as good anymore. Right. And that's what a buffer is for. It's basically for bringing back all that high end and all that sparkly sound that you get when you plug directly into the amp. Right. So right. a buffer should sound like plugging directly into the amp. Mm -hmm. That's, with that's a very the perfect. Yeah. Right. And obviously it shouldn't color the sound in itself. And that's why I think some people don't like buffers or are afraid of buffers because they fear that you know the buffer isn't transparent. Mm -hmm. So then it start adding color in itself. So you know that's that's kind of the the uh, the mix up between having a buffer and not. Right. So right. I think you know in an ideal guitar setup you'd have one buffer at the beginning of your signal chain and then two bypass pedals for the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Now will this work if you do have other buffered pedals in the chain? Is there a, a problem with doing that? No, no, there's no problem at all. But obviously, I mean. The idea of a buffer is really that you go through a circuit of some kind to kind of, you know, help bring the signal back and make it more robust. Mm -hmm. And with any kind of buffer, you know, there is the risk that you, you know, you go through that circuit and that circuit somehow colors the sound, which sure. is why true bypass pedals are nice in the sense that, you know, you run directly through them, so there's nothing to color the signal. Um, but we work really hard on Bonafide Buffer to make sure that it's absolutely transparent and um, it's a little tricky to display in general. Right. It's even more tricky to you know do it here on, on, on YouTube with the sound quality and all. Right. But um, but it is really really transparent. Right. Um, and we do have the way we're set up here is we have uh, this is a, a custom shop Stratocaster and it's going through two Astro cables which are high end very transparent yeah. cables and into a, a deluxe reverb here behind us and uh, here in the room the clarity and the transparency of the Bonafide is obvious. Yeah. I mean, we're not getting coloration out of the, uh, nope. the buffer at all. And the, the funny thing is, because we can actually, we can test it even though it's going to be hard to hear the difference. Now, if, if you have a true bypass pedal and you cut the power to the pedal, you'll still be able to play through it. Mm -hmm. If you have a buffered pedal and you lose the power, you'll get no sound because, you know, the circuit requires power to actually work. So if you have any kind of pedal that by nature is buffered, if you lose power, then you also lose your signal. Right. So typically if you have a buffer pedal and you cut the power, you wouldn't be able to hear anything, so you wouldn't be able to AB it. But what we've done here in Bonafide Buffer is that, you know, the pedal is all analog, but there's a tiny little digital circuit in there that controls a relay. And the relay basically does one thing, and that is when we cut the power, we switch to two bypass mode. Hmm. So when the pedal has power, it's always buffered. You can't turn it off, it's just there. But when you remove the power, it actually switches to two bypass mode, 
which means that even if you lose power on your pedal board, you'll still be able to play through the amp, which right. is a nice little extra feature. And we, and can, we can show that, right? Yeah, and, go, go ahead and, play. and the other thing is that that actually means that we can hear that we can actually A, B a little bit. Right. So here's, uh, here's the sound of the guitar going into the amp through the buffer. And then I can do this. And it's, I mean, I don't know if it comes across on the, uh, on the video, but it is I think it's actually clear that there's a little bit of treble loss. It's very mm -hmm. slight. And yep. a little bit of that sparkle back from the Strat. Yep. Um, and obviously, if we'd had longer cables and if we'd had like a, you know, eight pedal, pedal board here with cables going between them, it would be even more obvious. And the mm -hmm. longer cables you have, the more pedals you have, the more obvious that's going to be. And I think, you know, for any, anybody out there kind of wondering, do I need a buffer or not? The really easy way to do that is take your shortest cable, plug your guitar into your amp and hear how that sounds, mm -hmm. then go through your pedal board through all your local, uh, usual cables and hear if there's a difference. And if there is a difference, then there's a good reason to get a buffer. Sure. Sure. I think what's really impressive here is that there was no hiccup, there was no pop, there was no click, there no, was nothing it just, when it, it just transparently switched yeah. from, from one to the other. That's very cool. Yeah. And this is, I mean, most of the tone print pedals, or actually all the tone print pedals, have a built-in buffer. And the Bonafide buffer is based on that circuit, but it's a, it's a vastly improved one, so it's, a, it's, a, it's an involvement of that circuit. Right. But that, just to be totally clear, mm. no pun intended, the uh, buffer on those is only active when the pedal is active. No, otherwise, um, otherwise, they're true bypass? They're true bypass, but there's a little dip switch inside oh, right. them that actually right. allows you to select whether they're buffered or true bypass. So mm -hmm. you can, they're, they're both, really. So you can put it either way, right? Yeah. But again, I mean, at least for me, as somebody who's way too nerdy about pedals, I mean, I would, I would, I would design my pedal board as having a buffer at the beginning, all true bypass pedals, then maybe a buffer at the end. Mm -hmm. And that would be, you know, like the ideal one, or at least having a buffer at the beginning as, as close to the guitar as possible. You want to cut down the cable length to the shortest amount. So guitar into a buffer would mean that, you know, you only have that one cable from the guitar to the, to the buffer uh, right. that actually kind of degrades the sound. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, it's, it's the same all the way through. Right, right. Great advice. So, yeah, that's Bonafide Buffer. It's nice. a nice little utility thing, I, I, I think. Yeah, very cool. Tor, thanks so much for coming in and showing us the buffer pedal. This is really cool. I'm really excited to get one onto my pedal board. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, and it's a pleasure to have you here. Come back soon. Thank you. I will. If you have questions on the Bonafide buffer pedal or any other TC pedals, be sure to give your Sweetwater sales engineer a call. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Mm -hmm.